What's up makeup world? Today we are doing this Valentine's Day pink and black smoky eye. So if you want to see how I did this, then keep watching. So as always, I'm going in with my Urban Decay Primer Potion and I am priming my eyelids. I'm now going in with the NYX Jumbo Pencil to put down a base for the black eyeshadow. This is going to help it really stick and, be, and stay very pigmented and last all night. So I'm just blending that out with my finger. I am using today the Anastasia Self Made Palette and I'm going in with the color Spirit Rock. It's a black eyeshadow with pink glitter. It is very pigmented and um, I did find that I got a lot of fallout. So definitely do your foundation after you're done with the eye makeup. So I just took a Morphe B83 brush and I'm just packing that on my lid and alternating packing the color on and blending it out and I'm using a Morphe M513 brush to just blend all of this out. And then I'm taking this makeup wipe and just cleaning up all of the fallout that I had. So now going into the NYX Butt Naked Underneath It All palette, I'm going to pick up the um, lighter and medium matte pink shades. The camera kind of made them look a little bit more on the beige taupe side, but they are soft pink in person. So I'm just taking those two shades and I'm blending them into the crease. So I made sure in this video to not cut out any of the blending because I find that black shadow, it is, it's really beautiful, but it does take a lot more work to blend it and make the edges look soft. So I wanted to leave all of that in so that you guys could see kind of how my um, processes of just adding and blending is and it is it is a little bit time consuming but the end product is so worth it so I'm just adding a little bit more of the black shadow and just keeping it in circular movements along and um, along my lid and then just right into the crease as well And I'm keeping the black eyeshadow very rounded. You can always pull it out and wing it out if you if you want. So now to add a little bit more pink, I'm going back into the Anastasia palette and I'm grabbing Blossom. And I'm just going to put that right in the crease. Now if you don't want it to be soft pink, you can definitely switch out this shade of pink for a brighter or um, a soft purple, kind of any color that, um, that you like. So now I'm going back into the Anastasia palette. I'm gonna grab Buttery. It's a nice buttery um, matte color. And I just like that to kind of pull down the crease and and focus it solely in the crease and not bringing it up too high on my whole lid. So I went ahead and put foundation on and applied some lashes and these are Cara lashes in the number 30. And because this is more of a nighttime look, I'm going to bake my concealer and I'm doing that with my Morphe E3 brush and my Cody Air Spun powder. And I'm just applying that right under my eyes and wherever I put my concealer. And I am wearing my a Good Old Faithful, the NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer, and my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Really nice combination for going out. And as you can see, I'm just filling in my eyebrows and I'm using my e.l.f. pencil in coffee. And I'm just tracing out the shape that I want. Because as you can see, I don't have a nice arch to my natural brows. So with a pencil, you can create that. 
and I just connect the two lines and blend them throughout my hair that's already there. And I'm just taking a double-ended Bare Essentials brush and it's the Shaping Eye brush. And I like to use the combination of these two products, the um, Dip Brow Pomade and the Pencil, because I find that it makes them look as natural as filled in brows can look. So now I'm just gonna brush off the extra powder and whatever's left on the brush I'm gonna just use to set the rest of my face. So now going in with my NYX Matte Bronzer in the shade Deep Tan and a Real Techniques blush brush, I'm just going to bronze my face. Nothing too crazy because we got a lot going on on our eyelids, so I'm just going to keep it a little bit more toned down on the rest of the face. So going, so going back, back into, into the, the NYX Underneath It All palette, I am, I going, am to going to grab, to grab this these really two soft highlighter shade. blush. Oh, sorry, and just blush apply shade. that right above where I bronzed. And taking my Bare Essentials Flawless Face Brush, I'm going to go into these, well, when in doubt, grab both of these um, highlighters from that same palette and just highlight the high points of my face. And now applying my NYX Matte Finishing Spray. That is going to finish off this, well, the face part of the tutorial. Now, to finish off underneath my eyes, I am going in with the shade Blossom and just going to run that all underneath my eyes. And taking that same Morphe B83 brush, I'm going to pick up Pink Champagne and pop that right into the inner corners of my eyes to just kind of brighten up the eyeshadow. Now using my Maybelline lipstick in 920 and my NYX lip liner in nude pink I'm going to line and then fill in my lips these are both really soft pink shades but like I said if you're gonna change out your crease color definitely feel free to change out the lip color or just do something brighter darker whatever you want it's just makeup play around have fun Okay, this completes the tutorial. I hope you guys have a fantastic Valentine's Day and I'll see you in my next tutorial.